Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in front of us is the 2023 Cadillac CT5. This is the luxury trim level, finished off in a brand new color. This is called Midnight Steel Metallic and it has an MSRP just over $47,000. Now there are a few different engine options for the CT5. This is more of the base model. So underneath the hood, you will find the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. This is paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission and it pumps out 237 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. This model is rear wheel drive. However, you can opt for all wheel drive. It will send this 3,600 pound sedan from zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds. It has a top speed of 156 miles an hour. And as far as fuel economy goes, you're looking at 23 miles per gallon in the city and 33 out on the highway. Now, as we move on to the exterior styling, let's start off with the Cadillac emblem front and center. I think Cadillac has really knocked this out. This is the forward facing sensor, but you would never be able to tell. For the adaptive cruise, the forward collision, all of that, it's very cool to see that incorporated into the badge. Now for the rest of this grill, you will see all these brush trim pieces have a little V logo in them to mimic the V in the badge. Even though this is not the V model, it's pretty cool to see that. A lot of cutouts in this grill. You can see the sensors. This has LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals, and that vertical design. I think it's awesome to see the bodywork separating those two pieces. Very iconic for Cadillac. We have gloss black in the middle section, just to break it up a little bit, and then plenty of cutouts in that lower section with really nice lines coming down the hood. You will notice too that there's a crisp point right in the middle. It goes through the badge all the way to the lower section of the bumper, which is just a nice subtle touch to see. Now for the side, this has a set of 18 inch wheels, more of the base model wheel, but I think it has a great color and a multi-spoke design to it. These side mirrors are power folding. They have a two-tone look. There's also the turn signal along with a brush trim piece in the middle. We have the full moonroof as well as some more trim surrounding the windows finished off just like the front trim piece and some nice subtle lines running down the side nothing too aggressive this is more of a luxury focused vehicle so everything flows very nicely you will notice that the uh, cadillac badge is just behind that front tire another crisp line just above the door handles where these also have ambient lighting so you can see that strip just above at the top two-tone design to it with the small cadillac emblem which you can use to lock and unlock as the vehicle just locked there. Now for the rear, we have almost a built-in spoiler with another point right in the middle. Backup camera, all the sensors, there's the dual exhaust, reverse light is right in the middle. And then this has LED taillights, of course, and it even has remote start. So if we double tap this, it will fire right up. If you hold on this, that is how you can shut it off if you need to do that. And then from there, we can just use the button on the key fob to open up the trunk space. Now, this is a family style sedan, but it has plenty of space. You can see just how much room you have. There's also a storage pocket over on that passenger side. There's some battery access and components on the driver's side there. You can fold down the back seats, which is nice. And there's even a little bit of storage space underneath the floor. So if you need to utilize that, you can. There's one grab handle on that driver's side there, and that trunk is very easy to close, so it's very lightweight. Now, as we work our way to these back seats, you can also unlock the vehicle by pulling this tab on the inside. So the door handles are fixed, so you just use that tab. Door panel has a great look to it with all the leather, this trim piece just behind the release handle with the chrome accent. This has a nine speaker audio sound system and a little bit of storage in the lower section of the door. And then leather for these seats, which is of course nice to see. This is jet black for the interior. Now at five foot 10, super easy to enter. I have plenty of room for my feet and my legs there. There's climate adjustments, some auxiliaries. Now my head is just up against this headliner here, but it does poke up here to give you a little bit more headroom, which is nice. And then in the middle, we have the armrest and two cup holders if you need to use that. Plenty of visibility, so it's very open feeling and nice for your backseat passengers. 
Now looking at the door panel, you'll see it's just like the rear. However, we have the memory seating controls, trunk release, all the window adjustments, side mirrors are power folding too, which is nice to see. And then the same trim for the rest of that upper section. We have the automatic seats with that V logo right in the middle and they are automatic. So all of those adjustments are down on the side and it is just as easy to enter these front seats where we can bring this back to life. That button is over on the right side there. We have the massive Cadillac emblem right in the middle there. But as we look at the gauge cluster now, you will see on the left side, there is the tack as well as the fuel level. Right side, you will see a miles per hour and the engine temperature. There is some fixed information in the upper section where you can see the outside temperature along with the miles per hour and the clock. And then underneath that, you can use these arrows over on the right side to further go through this info. So there's a blank page, which you just saw, and some other vitals that you can go through just depending on what you need to see. So it's nice that those are front and center. You can also pull up the music along with the navigation. You have your phone when that is paired and then various settings to go into just depending on what you need to set up. Also on this right side, you can see a volume for the radio. This has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters, which is nice to see. And then on the left side, there's Bluetooth and voice commands, and then all the cruise and adaptive cruise control settings, along with distance pacing and the heated steering wheel. And then on the left side, you will see the electronic e-brake, a dimmer switch for the gauges, and a little bit of storage if you need to put in any items there. And then right in the middle, we have the touchscreen system. If we go home here, it defaults to the media on one side and phone on the other. There's also shortcuts down below where you can quickly get into the music and phone, pull up the navigation as well as the climate adjustments. So you can quickly go through all of that info. But if we go back to home now, there's a few other icons that you can see like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. There's some apps that you can go into just depending on what you'd like to search for and add once those are loaded, of course. You can go into your settings, your climates. Not a whole lot of info, but it's a great screen. I like the angle of it and it gives you what you need. There's also a physical button for the home icon in this metallic -y trim piece just underneath that. Now there's two air vents and then all of these toggles you will notice come to another V. So right in the middle here, this is for your climates of course, where you would like the air to go, AC, sink, you have the defrosters too. And then right in the middle, there's the fan speed as well as the temperature adjustments. Now this does have heated and ventilated seats. We have the lane keeping assist, parking sensors, and the hazards right in the middle. There's a little bit of storage space underneath with wireless charging on the right and a blank area on this left side. You could place your keys or some other items like that. And right underneath that, you will notice traction control, the auto hold, engine start stop, and the different driving modes. So there's a my mode, which you can customize. There's touring, sport, and snow and ice. You will also notice those change right in the middle. So you can see everything changes. My mode is how you can edit it. So if we go back to my mode there, we can go into edit and then you can customize these however you would like to just by swiping your uh, foot, your finger on uh, those three different ones there. So it's nice just depending on how you'd like to drive this. For the shifter now, we'll put it into reverse. You'll see the backup camera up here. You can turn on the guidelines if you'd like to. Drive is going to be all the way into the back. If I don't use the release and do that again, now we can use the paddle shifters and then park is located on the top. Now, if you don't wanna use that as a touchscreen system, you have this rotary dial as well as all these shortcuts. So you can quickly get into all this information. You have volume and tuning and then power for the radio too. So it's nice and consolidated to be able to easily get through that screen. There are two cup holders located on the right of that and then a little bit of storage. Now this is where you could place your phone and to get better access to it, you simply just open up the armrest and now you can see you can easily get to it. There's some auxiliaries too. So that way you can charge electronics and have everything tucked away in this area. Now there's also more storage where the glove box is. So you have plenty of room for all of that info. And then a look at visibility from the driver's seat. You can see just how open it is. So there's really no blind spots, large windows in both directions. There's garage door buttons up top along with the dome lights. We have the sunshade adjustments, sunroof adjustments, and the OnStar controls and the easy entry exit as well. And so now from second gear, here we go. And 
I gotta say, this is a pretty peppy engine. The car doesn't weigh all that much, so it has some power to it. Not a crazy amount like in some of the other engine options that are available. But if you're just looking for more of an economical engine, but you still want that luxury and not necessarily performance, this is a good option to go with. So you can see what it's like to be behind the wheel of this sub $50,000 luxurious Cadillac sedan. It is so nice. I love all the materials that this one has to offer and it just gives it a good vibe. Definitely something that's comfortable for daily driving and whatever you need to do for the week, you have plenty of space to be able to utilize this in the best ways possible. We have the nice frameless rear view mirror there. And you will notice too that the bottom of the mirror caps also have that crisp, crisp V point to them. So there's a lot of, probably a lot more hidden V badges that I haven't mentioned in today's video, including the small ones that are located on the front door handles. So you can lock and unlock this from both door handles. They have the small Cadillac badge on them. And I didn't show this, but the door handles are actually fixed. So there's a button on the inside of them that you can use in order to open the doors without the handle actually separating, which is not new from Cadillac. I think it's a nice design element to see for the exterior along with this new paint. I think it's a very nice exterior color. And then interior jet black, which is a perfect combo. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this 2023 Cadillac CT5 luxury trim level. Once again, a huge shout out to Randy Marion Cadillac for providing this sedan for me today. Be sure to check out their website, give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. I will see you all in the next video.